This is my first uh, short deck tournament, so it's, it's fun to uh, get in there and dabble in a different game. And this is a beautiful location. I, I was actually blown away at how pretty it was. And it's, uh, you still have a small town kind of feel, like almost like a farmy kind of feel around here. It doesn't feel sold out. Like uh, has similar beauty to Monaco, but it's not as big or as intimidating, which I really like. Yeah, whenever I got here, the first thing I did, it was like the sun was setting and I just dove in the ocean and had a nice evening. I really love this place. It's, it's nice to regenerate. Uh, it's oftentimes hard to get energy while you're playing poker tournaments because you're closed into these environments that are quite claustrophobic. And here you just walk outside and enjoy the sea. Oh, the events are amazing. I love, they're so friendly here. And, uh, it's like everybody knows everybody. And yeah, we're just all good pals in there joking around. And the stakes are huge, but it doesn't really feel that way, which can be good or bad. I'm in here feeling it out. Uh, it's, uh, there are so many spots I have no idea what's happening, but that's that's the fun part. We're all poker players and we're trying to, it's like the early days of No Limit Hold'em, we're just trying to figure it out. It makes it fun. Uh, my strategy is to try to guess better than all of my friends, but uh, it's, like I said, it's kind of a, a test run. Uh, it's just total madness. There is a, definitely a skill element and but the money just flies in, uh, like 100 big blinds and no limit, this isn't one, one uh, sentence, but 100 big blinds and no limit is quite a lot of chips. 100 antes could just fly in at any moment. Yeah, we're, you know, we're good buddies. We've played against each other tons, so it's, it's nice. Although he's, right now he's in this like deep f philosophical life mindset and every time I'm in the middle of a pot he's trying to ask me like life advice. I'm like, Jungle, come on man. It's a big, big tournament. It's just, the stakes just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's fun and we'll make for good stories one day but at the same time it's like, it's been quite intense. So every trip has gone well but I don't know how many years of my life I'm losing playing 270k US rebuy tournaments. <laughs> My girlfriend and I are both like very healthy life grinders, uh, work, working, uh, getting up early in the morning, and love to cook and, and uh, be outside as much as possible and just generally trying to recover and get, get back to a good baseline to play again. Very bright. I, I think it's very, very bright. You can see that the economy is booming and everyone loves the game. It's a game that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and I don't think it's going anywhere. I won't play that many World Series events. I am playing the million dollar one drop tournament. Uh, I'm flying back and playing the 300K Super High Roller Bowl and then I'll be playing cash most of the time. But occasionally if I get the itch, I'll go over and jump in a poker tournament.